This presentation is about creating effects. There are so many misconceptions about creating, and many people don't really understand how to take it correctly, how to avoid upset stomach, and how to make sure that creating is absorbed in your body. And not everyone is clear what exactly creatine does to you and why it is such a popular supplement and almost everyone in bodybuilding takes it. So, what is creatine? Creatine is used by our bodies for energy when you perform short, explosive muscular exercises. For example, weightlifting. Hence, it's used in weightlifting a lot. To get it from your diet, you would have to eat something phenomenal, like five steaks a day, which is very expensive, and you would get fat as well. To increase your creatine levels significantly, you have to take it as a supplement. There are many misconceptions about creatine, and some people think is creatine a steroid? And I'm telling, creatine is not a steroid. Many studies have proved it is safe to use, and even the Olympic Committee allows the use of creatine. This means creatine is okay to use. However, you have to know how to use creatine correctly. Let's discuss one of the side effects of the creatine. It gives upset stomach, also known as diarrhea, to some people. The reason for it is because creatine is very water-hungry. It means any creatine which was not absorbed in your stomach attracts lots of water in your colon. A lot of water in your colon means diarrhea. And that's why you get diarrhea. So, how do we prevent this? How do I stop diarrhea? To avoid, to aid creatine absorption and avoid diarrhea, you have to take it with vitamin B complex. Because vitamin B complex helps to absorb creatine. Also, take it with a small sugary drink to spike up the insulin production in your body. Insulin helps to absorb almost anything. Use only very high quality creatine in the right dosages. Cheap creatine contains lots of toxins that are very harmful to your body and that can cause diarrhea on its own. Avoid cheap creatine. Always use high quality creatine and make sure that the supplies of your creatine have got proper production facilities. Also drink much more water to avoid creatine induced dehydration. As we discussed before, creatine is very water hungry. So whatever you dr normally drink, increase it twice or thrice drink as much water as possible every hour two glasses of water if you can even more so now let's discuss what is the right dosage of the creatine well take 20 grams per day during your first five days of course spread it over the day into the four intakes of five grams because if you take the whole 20 gram dosage in one go you will have diarrhea most definitely and the product will be just wasted because if you have diarrhea after creatine it means that it has not been absorbed always take it with carbohydrate rich foods for example like a banana or Again, the sugary drink does help, but if you take it with carbohydrate-rich uh, foods, it means that the whole absorption will be helped even further. And of course, take it with uh, vitamin B complex. 
and take that vitamin B complex at least once a day. Again, we all of us are different and some of us uh, have different tolerances to the vitamin levels. So you have to know how many vitamin B's you can take. After the loading phase, because that's what it's called, those five days is called a loading phase, so your body gets all the creatine necessary. Reduce your dosage to 2.2 grams daily and uh, drink it for a month. Always take it with carbohydrate-rich food and vitamin B complex. After a while, after a month or two of uh, creatine usage, do take a break. Allow your body to uh, rebuild itself, to detox again, and you can start all over again, because I'm sure you will feel that additional pump in the gym after the creatine usage.